Hey guys, how are you today? It's pre-calculus time and are you excited for our next lesson? We are going to discuss today all about a parabola. Now, what are our learning competencies? We have here, we are going to define a parabola, determine the standard form of the equation of a parabola, and of course, we are going to graph a parabola in a rectangular coordinate system. Let's proceed with the very first competency and that is we are going to define a parabola. What is a parabola? Parabola is said to be a set of all points such that its distances from the fixed point and from the fixed line are the same. Now, what do you call this fixed point? This fixed point is called your focus. On the other hand, the fixed line is called now your directrix. Take a look now on the diagram. You notice there F is represented by focus and your K is represented by directrix. So they are said to be constant or the same. Okay? Now, let's take a look on this diagram. Another term would be discussed today. The first one there, as you observe, we have the axis of symmetry. Now, what is this all about, axis of symmetry? It is said to be the line through the focus perpendicular to the directrix. It divides the parabola into two parts, which are the mirror images of each other. So if you take a look on the line which is said to be in the purple color, that is now your axis of symmetry. Okay. On the other hand, we have here another term which is the vertex. Okay. The vertex is said to be the turning point of the parabola, which is located midway of the focus and of the directrix. Okay, so there you have the direct, uh, the vertex. And of course, another term here is your latus rectum, the one in pitch color. When you see latus rectum, this is a cord through a focus parallel to the directrix. FYI, latus rectum is a compound of the Latin word meaning sine and rectum meaning straight. So again, if you combine latus and rectum, it's a side straight or a straight side. Okay? So there you have the different terms. And the same true when we consider um, the second competency that is now on the equation of a parabola. Now let's discuss first the first form, which is the standard form. And we have two forms here, which is vertex at origin. If you take a look on our table, okay? So you notice there that once our parabola opens to the right or to the left, okay, your equation, take a look here, your equation on the variable y is said to be in the second degree. Okay, take note. Now, when we consider parabola, only one variable is on the second degree. So if the variable y is on the second degree, therefore it's opening is either open to the right or to the left and of course its axis of symmetry is along the x-axis on the other hand okay if the parabola opens upward or downward okay your equation take note your equation or your variable x is on the second degree okay and it open uh, the, the axis of symmetry is said to be along the y-axis okay and of course there are some terms there we have the 4p okay later on it is you would observe that 4p is said to be necessary for us to consider the graph and the equation of this parabola. Okay, 4p again is represented by your length of your lattice rectum. Okay, let's take some examples here. If we recall the vertex at origin, okay, if the parabola opens to the right with vertex at the origin, what will be the equation? Okay, opens to the right. Yes, you're right. The answer is letter D. Why? Again, it's open to the right because variable, okay, is said to be your variable is on the second degree. And if it's right, your open to the right, you would observe that your 4P is always positive. On the other hand, if your 4P is negative, meaning it opens to the left. Okay, let's try another one. Which of the parabola uh, uh, equation equation of a parabola is said to be downward if the vertex is at the origin. What will be its equation? Okay, this time opens downward. Yes, the answer there is letter B. Why? 
because if it's downward, okay, your variable x is on the second degree, and of course, your 4p is said to be negative. If your 4p is positive, and it's the variable x is on the second degree, therefore, it opens upward. Okay, let's take on the second form of your parabola, which is vertex at hk. Okay, this time, the only difference, and the first, the first form we have discussed on the standard form is that vertex at origin, this time hk. So again, uh, the same concept, if the opening is to the right or to the left, your variable y is on the second degree and the axis of symmetry is parallel to your x-axis. Okay, and if its uh, opening is upward or downward, your variable x is on the second degree and the, the axis of symmetry is again parallel to y-axis. Okay, and of course, considering your 4p sign, positive, either right or upward, a negative 4p, it's either left or downward. Okay, let's take an example here. Okay, recall, if a parabola opens upward with vertex at hk, so what will be now your equation? Yes, the correct answer is letter A. Why? If it's upward, again, x is on the second degree, and your 4p should always be positive. Let. Again, let's proceed with the next. How about if it opens to the left and vertex at hk? Okay, the correct answer there is letter D. Yes, again, if it opens to the left, your variable y is on the second degree and your 4p is negative. So that is all about on the... Um, equation of a parabola. As we proceed, we're going to come up now with the second form of your equation. We are through with the standard form. Let's proceed with the general form of the equation of a parabola. So it says here, exactly one of the variables, either x or y, is said to be on the second degree. So you notice here, ax squared plus cx plus dy plus e equals zero. That is with respect to x. And then on the other hand, by square plus cx plus dy plus e equals 0, okay? So, if you notice there on our first general form, x is on the second degree, so it's either upward or downward. And then, of course, the second equation, y is on the second degree, it's either opens to the right or opens to the left, okay? Let's take this. Converting standard form to general form. So let's try this first equation. We have quantity x minus 3 square equals negative 8, quantity y plus 1. So this standard form is to be transformed or written in its general form. So what will we do? Okay, we're going here to apply what? Uh, we're going to expand your square binomial and then of course on the other side we're going to apply distributive property so I guess you know already how to expand a binomial so the expand of your binomial there is x squared minus 6x plus 9 okay and then of course once we apply distributive property on negative 8 okay distribute negative 8 times y negative 8y minus 8 negative 8 times 1 it's negative 8 okay and of course uh, we're going to transform this one to general form so therefore if it's general form it is always equated to zero so we're going to what transpose negative 8y and negative 8 on the other side so there you have and of course once we apply transposition they have changed their signs and equated to zero and then after after that we are going to combine like terms okay what are our like terms here simply your constants and we're going to arrange in the general form so therefore, we have the x squared minus 6x plus 8y. How did we arrive with 17? 9 plus 8 is equals to 17 and of course equated to 0. So that is how to convert standard form to general form. Again, we apply um, expansion of binomial okay, and of course distributive property. Now, let's proceed with this time from uh, from general form to standard form okay with this example y square plus 8y 
minus 16x minus 48 equals 0. Okay, so how do we convert general form to standard form? Okay, so you notice here that only one variable is on the second degree. So we would, uh, those, variable, uh, those variable and the terms with the same or said to be on the second degree will, will stay on the other side. And of course, your remaining variable together with the constant should be written on the other side. So meaning, on this example, y is on the second degree. So therefore, y squared and 8y should remain on that side. And then 16x and 48 would be written on the other side. Considering the sign. Okay, so there you have. Now you notice there we have a blank. So the same true or concept we have applied on the previous conic, and that is we need to apply completing the square. Okay, so when we complete the square applying your middle term, the numerical coefficient of y there is 8. So 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 is square, it, it's 16. Okay, this 16 now is to be written on the blank on this side and of course on the other side okay so we're going to write 16 there and another 16 on the other side to make it balance okay now after we have applied completing this square we know that that is already a perfect square trinomial y square plus 8y plus 16 is already a perfect square trinomial so we could now factor it out and the factor of that is okay y plus 4 quantity is square the same true on the other side Okay, we could uh, simplify it further by, of course, combining like terms. And that is with respect to constant. So 16x plus 64, how did we arrive with 64? 48 plus 16 is equals to 64. And of course, the next step, you notice here on this side, okay, 16x and 64. We are going to extract the numerical coefficient of your variable with respect to x is 16. So we're going to extract 16. So therefore, we have 16 quantity x plus 4. So this is now our k okay, from general form of the equation of a parabola to the standard form, which is quantity y plus 4 square equals 16 quantity x plus 4. Okay, so again, when we convert general form to standard form, we apply completing the square. Okay, then of course, with that completing the square, it's now a perfect square trin trinomial and of course, we're going to extract the numerical coefficient of your variable on the other side. Okay, let's proceed. This time, we are through with the definition, we are through with the equation and again, for the final discussion, we are going to graph a parabola. Now, how do we graph a parabola? So, the same with the other conic we have discussed. Okay, specifically for a circle, we consider the coordinates of your center and the length of your radius. For a parabola, for us to graph, okay, we need to consider first your vertex and of course the length of your latus rectum or simply the value of your p. So as we have here the first example, y square equals 8 quantity x minus 3. So you notice um, it's a combination of uh, vertex at origin with respect to y and of course vertex at its k with respect to x okay so let's identify its vertex now the vertex there is what 3 0 y 3 0 with respect to x you notice here okay x minus 3 equate that to 0 then negative 3 transpose on the other side it becomes what 3 and why is it 0 here with respect to y because it is said to be on what vertex at origin so therefore your vertex here is 3 0 afterwards we would identify uh, in our previous discussion a while ago your value of your 4p okay so our 4p here is what 8 there you have 4p is 8 now again what's the significance of this 4p in our graph I said a while ago that your 4p stands for the length of your lattice rectum to make it as a mirror or said to be symmetric okay now so eight units the 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 latus rectum has a length of eight units okay and how you make how do you make it asymmetric of course that is you're going to divide both sides by two and that is uh, four four units both either left or right or upward or downward and of course consider the value of your p okay we are to solve for the value of your p so how do you do that 
divide both sides by 4. Okay, so divide both sides by 4. And of course, the value of your P here is either positive or negative 2. And that what, what is the significance again of P? Your P here would signify now the distance from your vertex to your focus and then from your vertex to your directrix. That's why we have positive or negative because they are said to be opposite directions. Okay, so we are now ready to graph a parabola. Okay, so using our Cartesian coordinate system here, let's plot first our vertex. So our vertex is at 3, 0. So meaning 3 units to the right, 1, 2, 3, and we're not going to move either upward or downward. So this one. And of course, do not forget to label, and that is we have 3, 0. Afterwards, after considering now your vertex, okay, we have here your value of your P, which is positive or negative 2. Now, the question here is, what is the opening of your parabola? Okay, you notice that your variable Y is on the second degree, so therefore, it opens what? And of course, your 4P is positive. So it opens to the right. Yes, you're right. Okay, so from here, from your vertex, two units to the right. So therefore, one, two. Okay, that is five, zero. That is now your focus. Okay, and from your focus, from our definition, our logo of your latus rictum, okay, that it is said to be a parallel to your directrix. Okay, now your, your 4P here is eight. A while ago, I have told you that that 4P now is the opening or the length of your um, parabola with respect to the opening, okay? So, how do you make it a symmetric if it's 8? So, meaning from your focus, 4 units upward and 4 units downward. So, from here, again, why? how did you arrive with 4 units downward and 4 units upward? Because the value is 8. And to make it symmetric, divide it by 2. Okay? So from your focus, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units downward. So our length of your lattice rectum here is 5, negative 4. Okay? And of course, on the other hand, 1, 2, 3, 4, upward. And we have your length of your lat ends of your ends of lattice rectum is 5, 4. Okay? So again, if you are... Um, uh, let's say you have your question with respect to this one. How did we arrive with that LR? Again, this refers to your 4P, which is 8 units. 8 units. And to make it symmetric, okay, that is now we have divided into two equal parts. Okay, so we are ready to connect your parabola, okay, by making a curve. So there you have. And of course, we do not done yet or through yet because... We are to consider, of course, your directrix. A while ago, it's positive 2. Vertex, it's positive because uh, you're going at 2 units to the right. And this time, it's negative 2. Why? Because from the vertex, 2 units to the left. So, 1, 2. Okay. Now, why is it line? Because a directrix is said to be a fixed line. Okay. And the equation of your directrix is equals to 1. So, x is equals to one. So again, before we proceed to the next example, uh, when we consider the graph of your parabola, we need to find out first the coordinates of your vertex and of course the length of your lattice rectum, the value of your 4P and the value of your P. Okay, so let's proceed with the second example. Our second example here this time is in general form. Okay, so how do we graph a parabola whose equation is in general form. We simply convert that uh, equation into a standard form. So that's our previous lesson a while ago, okay, or topic a while ago. So we, you notice here, it's x is on the second degree. So therefore, uh, the variable with um, x or terms with variable x should stay on this side. And of course, y and the constant should be written or uh, transpose on the other side and of course we are going to apply what completing the square okay so i have here now uh, our standard form quantity x minus one square equals four quantity y plus two that is now our conversion from general form to standard form you, you could check that later 
So we could now identify your coordinates of your vertex. Okay, what is now our vertex? This is now vertex at hk. Yes, you're right. The vertex now is 1, negative 2. How did we arrive with that? x minus 1 equate to 0. Okay, transpose negative 1 to the other side. So it becomes 1. Okay, the same true with y. y plus 2 equals 0. Transpose positive 2 on the other side. It becomes negative 2. So therefore, our vertex is 1, negative 2. Now, the next thing to consider is the value of your 4p. What is your 4p? Yes, it's 4. Okay, 4. And that means, what does this 4p means? The length of your lattice rectum, 4 units. And to make it symmetric, meaning 2 units. Um, okay, before that, uh, take a look on our variable x. It's on the second degree. So if it's on the second degree, uh, it's either upward or downward. But take a look on your 4p here. It's positive 4. So therefore, it's, uh, uh, its opening is upward. So meaning, to make it symmetric, 2 units to the right and 2 units to the left. So divide both sides now with 4. Okay. So therefore, our P is equal to positive negative 1. Okay. So let's graph using a Cartesian coordinate system with our vertex, 1, negative 2. So 1 unit to the right and 2 units downward. Okay, there you have. Then, do not forget to label. And after that, from the vertex. Okay, this is a while ago. Our question is, this: uh, where does this parabola opens? And it opens, what? Upward. So that means positive 1 from our vertex, 1 unit upward. There you have our focus. And the coordinate is 1, negative 1. Okay, from here, we consider the length of your LR or lattice rectum and that is 4 units. So meaning 2 units to the right and 2 units to the left. So 1, 2, there you have your ends of your LR is 3, negative 1 and on the other side we have 1, 2. Okay, there you have the coordinates of that is negative 1, negative 1. Okay, so we are now ready to connect. So there you have. So again, with respect to your LR, Length of your lattice rectum, your 4p is 4. Then we divide it into two parts to make it symmetric. Okay? And of course, the last step is considering your directrix. So from the vertex, 1 unit to a down, 1 unit downward. So from your vertex, 1 unit downward, there you have. And the equation of that is y equals negative 3. So why is it y equals negative 3? You take a look on the um, our um, y-axis, so one, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So it's negative 3. Okay? So again, from graphing a parabola, considering our uh, vertex, coordinates of your vertex, and the value of your 4p, which is the length of your lattice rectum, and of course, your value of your p, which is the distance from the uh, vertex to your focus and vertex to your directrix. Okay, so we could now sum up our or generalize our lesson. Today we have discussed all about a parabola. That when you say parabola, this is said to be set of all points such that its distances from the fixed point, which is called your focus, and from the fixed line, which is called now your directrix, are said to be the same. We have also discussed equations of a parabola that we have two forms also. We have the standard form, vertex at origin, vertex at hk and of course we have the general equation which is always equated to zero and take note that only one variable is on the second degree it's either on x variable x or variable y if your variable x is on the second degree it either it is either opens upward or downward depending on your value or the sign of your 4p and on the other hand if your y is on the second degree it opens what either to the right or to the left again depending on the sign of your 4p and of course last one here is we have discussed how to graph a parabola now if we graph a parabola we consider the coordinates of your vertex your 4p and of course your value of your p your p here is of course the distance from your vertex to your focus and vertex to your 
directrix. Okay. And of course, we are through with our discussion for today. So thank you for listening. And always remember, handang isip, handang bukas, tara na, ML na tayo. Okay? So hoping you have learned something today. Thank you again and uh, God bless us. See you again on our next lesson.